Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For the first inventory is Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index or PSQI. The developers of PSQI are Daniel J. Bais, Charles F. Reynolds, Timothy H. Monk, Susan Berman and David J. Kupfer. For the introduction, PSQI was developed in 1988 which aims to measure sleep quality and disturbance in one month time. PSQI consists of 19 self-rated items which categorize into 7 components. PSQI can be used to assess subjective sleep quality in non-clinical and clinical settings. These are the components being assessed. Firstly, subjective sleep quality, sleep latency, sleep duration, habitual sleep efficiency, sleep disturbance, use of sleep medication, as well as daytime dysfunction. PSQI consists of 19 self-rated questions and these are the questions. Participants need to answer all questions. For the scoring of PSQI, each score started with 0 which means of no difficulty to 3 which means severe difficulty. The component score are summed to produce a global score which range from 1 to 20. Higher scores indicate worse sleep quality. For component 1 which is subjective sleep quality, we have to refer to question 9. And the score is given based on the response. For component 2, which is sleep latency, participants need to refer to question 2 and 5A. After giving the score for each question, participants need to add the scores of question 2 and 5A to get the score for component 2. And for component 3, which is sleep duration, we have to refer to question 4. Based on the response, we have to give the score. For component 4, which is sleep efficiency, we need to refer to question 1, 3 and 4. What we need to do is that we need to calculate the hours of sleep divided by hours in bed times by 100%. So the component 4 score is given based on the sleep efficiency percent that we get. Next is component 5 which is sleep disturbance. Participant need to refer to question 5B to 5J. After giving the score for each question, participant need to add the scores of 5B to 5J to get the score for component 5. Next, for component 6, which is use of sleep medication, we need to refer to question 6. So basically, the component of 6 score will be given based on the response. Lastly, for component 7, which is daytime dysfunction, participants need to refer to question 7 and 8. After giving the score for each question, participants need to add the scores of question 7 and 8 to get the score for component 7. Then, after all scores are given, the participant need to add all the seven component score to get the global score. For the interpretations, the overall score range between 0 to 21, a good score of 1 to 5 indicates a good sleeper, and if the score is 5 or more, it is suggested that the client has to discuss the sleeping habits with the healthcare provider. These are the reflections for PSQI. Firstly, the questionnaire is suitable for Malaysian population as it fits Malaysian sleeping patterns. Next, PSQI is a self-assessment questionnaire that can be used in clinical and non-clinical settings. Therefore, people can easily assess the questionnaire but still need to refer to experts for further and reliable interpretations. One of the weaknesses of PSQI is its complex scoring. Individuals who use the questionnaire and prefer to calculate the scoring independently might have trouble in measuring the score which can lead to wrong interpretations. That's all from me. Thank you.